Kamala Radhikanu has been told she needs to stop the merry-go-round and find a long-term coach, to become great again, as she prepares to return to action. The 2021 US Open winner underwent surgeries on her wrists and ankle in May before splitting with her latest coach Sebastian Sachs. She is now looking for her sixth full-time coach since turning pro while currently working with her former childhood mentor Nick Cavaday. Radhikanu, 21, plans to make her competitive comeback at the ASB Classic in Auckland, on January 1 and hopes to get a wildcard to the Australian Open. But Patrick Moritoglu, who coached Serena Williams and Simona Halep until the Romanians failed drug test last year, said, of course for Emma, it is about her being fit, but not only that. She has been injured, but she has also not been injured and not performing. I think that the constant changing of her team is affecting her game for sure. In this sport, in any sport and whatever you do in life, it is very important to have a goal and have milestones and a project for you. And when you change coach, you change the project and it is impossible to reach the top when you change coaches too often. I hope for her that firstly she is injury free and second, she finds someone that she trusts and she is able to stay with that person long enough so that they can work on a development plan for her to become great again because it was too short the period she played her best tennis. Radhikanu's IMG agent Max Eisenbud told the tennis podcast in the summer that Emma and her father Ian had always employed coaches on a short-term basis and added, it's probably going to be like that for the rest of her career because that's what's comfortable for them. Since Wimbledon in 2021, Radhikanu has worked with Nigel Sears, Andrew Richardson, Torben Belts, Dmitry Tersunov and Sachs. In October, Radhikanu claimed, on certain occasions, they, coaches, haven't been able to keep up with the questions I've asked, and maybe that's why it ended.